then at the end, oh, forward slash script, and that'll finish it off. And that will be um, all we need there for our design view, uh, our, our HTML design. Then what you need to do is locate your SWF file that you've created. And I've already located mine down here, but you will need to find it through the browser. And drag it into here. And it will ask you if you want to save it like it has for me. And yep, I'm going to save mine. And I'm going to save mine in the same place as my folder. You'll need to find that. And I'm going to save that. Uh, these are accessibility options for um, people with uh, screen readers and things like that. We're not going to go into that now. Just click OK. And here is our flash. Um, if you're using one of the later versions, we can play it live here and see it working. If you're in one of the earlier versions, you can't. And there's also live view where you can see it working live. And there it is it's actually firing. Don't worry about this Adobe Flash player security. All that's doing is it's telling you that a piece of Java is being fired there, really. So I'm just going to come out of live view. Um, but obviously the early versions don't have that. When we press F12 now, it's going to ask us um, if we want to save the changes again. Yep. And it's also going to ask us um, to um, bring in these two bits of code, which are very important bits of code. There was a time in Flash when you used to put in HTML that um, certain scripts would be blocked and things like that. And SWF object allows us to uh, Flash to play without asking, do you want to run the Flash content and things like that. And Express install is just a little script which um, basically you can install Flash from. So you know if you don't have Flash, it'll install Flash for you. Um, obviously, if you're using one of the earlier versions, this isn't going to install for you. But these files as well will be on Moodle. So I'm going to OK that. Now, here we go. Let's just go through the code. Yep, that's all working fine, except for um, this here is not um, invisible at the moment. So we need to correct that. So if I just close that down and we go back to here, and there's two errors wrong with this, and I'm going to show you the first one. The first one will be in Flash, and you can see here that I've got my background but it's not with inside the master content. So all I'm going to do is drag it in and now that's inside our master content. So if I publish that, remember you need to publish to update. There we go, that's now with inside that. So only the background, the true background on Flash can be transparent, not if I have an object over it. Now if I go to Dreamweaver and what we're going to do here is I'll make sure I've clicked on the ID and down here from the properties window, if you haven't got that you can go to Windows and Properties. But if I click on it, there we go, and I change this W mode, which is window mode, to transparent. Now if I press F12, there's our banner. Click OK. And there it is expanding over the content. So basically, I'll just go through the steps quickly once more. So we created our flash file with the drop down. Uh, make sure everything's inside the mask. Then, from Dreamweaver, in the code, we added the um, div style, which you can now see here. And in fact, you can now see the flash file we've put in there now. But we added this div style, which gave us two div tags, one with an absolute and one with a relative uh, coordinates. And um, the absolute one was inside of the relative one. And then we create this script here which is a JavaScript, one's function expand and one's function retract. And if I look in the flash file here, you'll see if I bring up the actions here, we have our external interface that calls the JavaScript expand. And down here we have one which calls retract. So that is directly affecting our JavaScript here, function retract and expand. And that is how you create an action script 3 um, drop down banner, expanding banner. Hope you've enjoyed the complex but you know rewarding tutorial. Hope it all works for you. Tell me how you get on.